Hey, this is Pastor Major with Faith Baptist Church in Violet, Louisiana. And I just want to put out a quick video here today just to explain why I have separated from Pastor Stephen Anderson. And so in this video, I'm not going to be attacking Pastor Anderson. I'm not trying to go after him publicly or attack him or in any way. I just want to simply tell you, you know, what has gone on and why I have made the decision that I have made. But I will say this, that there are a lot of you on Facebook and YouTube who just seem just to jump on one side before you hear both sides. And that is very foolish to do that. There are always two sides of a story, and usually the truth is somewhere in the middle. And so it's very foolish just to jump on one side before you hear the other side. You know, the Bible says, A fool uttereth all his mind but a wise man holdeth it in until afterwards. And so you should hear both sides before you just jump on a bandwagon and go in either direction. Now, here's the reason why I have separated from Pastor Stephen Anderson. And let me just say this. I was trying to do it quietly. You know, I called him on uh, Thursday evening, I believe, and talked to Pastor Anderson. And I was trying to do it quietly. And in fact, had he not put it on the internet, none of the other uh, pastors would have even known that I was separating from Pastor Anderson because I wasn't going to go around and calling them, trying to pull people to my side. You know, this is my belief. This is my choice. And I will say this as well. You know, what is cult-like is, you know, these people that say, well, Pastor Anderson can have fellowship with whoever he wants to, but, you know, I don't have the right to choose to not fellowship with whoever I want to. That's kind of like the weird kid that just follows you around and that just says, you have to be my friend. You know, if he can choose whoever he wants to be friends, then I can as well. But here's the thing. My decision had nothing to do with who his friends are. And let me just say this. I don't care who your friends are. I don't care you know, who somebody has fellowship with and who their friends are, it did not have to do with fellowship and with your friends. Because here's the thing, I'm sure all of us have friends that are not right on a lot of things. But there is a difference between being a friend to somebody and trying to push somebody in the right direction and then trying to promote somebody and yoking up with them and working on the same projects. So, of course, that brings me to Dane Johansson. Now, Dane Johansson, of course, is a Calvinist preacher. He is not an independent Baptist. And no matter what people try to say about him, this man's not an independent Baptist. Now, I will tell you what Pastor Anderson told me when we talked together. And again, I'm not attacking Pastor Anderson. I'm just telling you exactly what has happened. When I talked to Pastor Anderson and I was asking him about these things and asking him about Dane Johansson, here's what he told me was that Dane Johansson believes just like we do on salvation, on repentance, on the King James Bible, but he is simply compromising to appease the crowd that he has come out of. Now, if that is true, then there is still a major problem with that because of this fact that if you can look at all the videos that Dane Johansson has put out after the Red Hot Preaching Conference on up to this point, and he repeatedly says that he's not King James only, to be King James only is heresy, that he's still a hardcore Calvinist, he believes in all five points, so it's not just predestination that he's wrong on, he still believes in all five points of TULIP of Calvinism. And so... If he actually does believe like we do, then he is purposely preaching a false gospel and damnable heresy. So this, is, again, is not about who your friends are. This is about a man who is purposely preaching false doctrine just to appease a certain crowd. And again, if you just want to be friends with that guy and try to push him in the right direction, yeah, that would be one thing. But the problem is, is that, number one, he yoked up with him and joined with him in that project of going back to the Greek and putting out that documentary. And my problem with that film was just the fact that Dane Johansson was included in that. And it wasn't just a sit down and interview type of situation in that film. 
it was very clear they were yoked up together they were working together in that film and so beyond that as well of course i found out earlier this week that pastor anderson also went to this conference that i know all of you have already heard about the texan canon conference and this conference was not an independent baptist conference this conference i believe was at a christ reformed church so it's not an independent baptist church and the speakers there they may be independent and they may be baptist but they're not independent fundamental baptists like we are and they you can go listen to it for yourself and they say things like the king james has blemishes it's okay to use other versions of the bible they don't disparage the other versions of the bible and so forth so they are not king james only like we are they're not independent fundamental baptists like we are and again, if you just wanted to go to that conference, you know, just to see what the other side was saying or see what these guys were saying, that would be one thing. But again, in Pastor Anderson's video that he put out, I believe, about James White, he then shared the link to that conference in that video, in the information there, and thereby promoted that to everybody that's on his YouTube channel. So again, my issue is not with who you are friends with. My issue is joining up and yoking up and working with Calvinists that do not believe like we are, that are compromisers, and also promoting an ecumenical conference where it wasn't just independent Baptists there, it was people from many different denominations, Reform, Primitive Baptists, and so forth. So my issue, again, is not with who you're friends with. I don't care who your, friend, who your friends are. My issue is with promoting those who preach a damnable heresy. And so because of those reasons, I chose to separate from Pastor Anderson. And again, I was trying to do it quietly. I was not trying to cause contention or strife. And I told Pastor Anderson this when I talked to him on the phone. I had no interest in attacking him publicly. In fact, that's why I've waited this long to put out this video because I wasn't going to put out a video, you know, in my anger. I wanted to wait till I had thought things through and I didn't want to come out just swinging and attacking people. And I'm not attacking Pastor Anderson in this video. This is just telling you what exactly has happened. And so my issue, again, is not with who the friends are. My issue is with promoting Calvinism and joining up with them and yoking up with them and working with them in projects. I believe that that is wrong. I believe that the Bible says that we are to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And so we are not supposed to be yoked up with them. The Bible says, come out and be separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And so we're not to be yoked up with these guys. And so if another preacher, you know, he wants to go that direction and wants to yoke up with them and work with them, well, you know, that's fine. That's his choice. But I can also choose not to go that direction with him. I also am an independent Baptist, and I can choose who my friends are, and I have a right to choose to say, well, I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be yoked up with you. If you're going to yoke up with Calvinist, then I'm not going to yoke up with you. I believe we need to take a strong stand against ecumenicalism and against joining up with these false doctrines out there. And, you know, there are plenty of you I've seen on Facebook that have put out plenty of of things on Facebook where you have twisted scripture, where you said, I think Paul missed the anti-ecumenical whatever, and you quote that passage in the scripture where it says that he became a, a Jew to the Jews and week to week and so forth. That's not what that scripture is talking about. I doubt very much that Paul was yoking up with the Pharisees. I doubt very much that Paul was yoking up with those that teach a damnable heresy. Did he become a Jew to the Jews? Sure. What does that mean? That means he was basically partaking in that culture is what he was doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when you yoke up with somebody who's teaching a damnable heresy, that is wrong. That is false. And we ought to take a, stand, a strong stand against those things. And I know some of you, many of you will probably say, well, you started this because you preached that sermon 
on Wednesday, that sermon that you preached there. And I'll say this about that. Number one, I don't preach to YouTube. I am an independent Baptist pastor of a local church. My sermons are for my people. If you get to benefit from them, that's great. But my sermons are for my people, and I was preparing my people for what I saw that was coming. And so I don't take back anything from that sermon. Here's the thing. You bunch of hypocrites that are commenting on there, you know very well that had you not known about this situation, you would have been amening that sermon. You would have been saying, hey, that's a good sermon, Pastor Major, and so forth. So you're just a bunch of hypocrites that go on there. And by the way, those of you who go on there and you're saying things, maybe you ought to remember the scripture that says, rebuke not an elder. You know, I am remembering that, and I am an elder. I'm a pastor. I'm not rebuking Pastor Anderson and, and going out and attacking him. He can make his choice, and that's fine. But I have made my choice, and I'm going to stick to my choice, and I'm going to be friends with who I want to be friends with and not be friends with who I do not want to be friends with. And so with all that said here today, I just wanted to put that out there and clear the air and just say this, as for me and my house and for my church, we will serve the Lord. Choose you this day whom ye will serve. You need to decide what is right according to the word of God. And lastly, I'll say this, you know, this is not going to affect my church. We're going to go on and do great things for God, continue going soul winning, seeing people saved, going on missions trips. We're going to continue doing great things for God and seeing God do great things. And look, this has never been about trying to fill my church with Pastor Anderson's listeners. If that was the case, I would sit down, shut up, and just let things go on. I wouldn't have said anything. I would have just kept filling my church with Pastor Anderson's listeners. So it's never been about that. It's about following the Lord. And if you decide not to follow the Lord, well, then I'm going to separate from you. I'm going to continue following God. That's who I'm here to please, and as long as I am right with God, that's all that matters. And my heart is right with God, and my conscience is clear in this matter. I wonder if many of you could say the same thing about this whole situation. And so with all that said here today, I just want to say this. Me and my church, we're going to go on. We're going to serve God, do great things for God. I just want to say it is Sunday, and Jesus Christ is risen. Go serve God today. God bless.